What's going on, Morgan? Congrats. Um, you've obviously had a, a long and successful career in Baltimore. What's what's kind of the the transition going to be like for you joining a new team with some guys who you you probably know from your time in your in the league, but maybe unfamiliar with? Yeah, it's uh, it is the first time I'm I'm changing teams technically, um, but I'm I'm really excited about. It. I mean, I'm I'm joining a. a a great team already and I'm excited to see how I can you know help improve it. Teron. Yeah Morgan with your experience there with, with the Wolf Pack, right? With with Tucker and, and, and Cook, mm -hmm. how do you develop that type of timing and just that that chemistry where it just seemed like everything was just always like clockwork with you guys. How can you come here and, and try to reestablish that? You know, it just it just takes putting in the work, and um, and you know, Brett's here in town, uh, and and we've already talked. We're we're gonna go get to work and um, and work on that that timing, exactly what you're talking about. And uh, I'm excited to work with him. I've I've uh, worked with him last year at the Pro Bowl, and um, you know, we already kind of have um, I kind of already have, have planned it out in my mind and stuff. And so I'm I'm excited to get together and and uh, get to work. Teresa. Uh, welcome to Tennessee. You're back to Tennessee, uh, Morgan. How much of uh, coming to uh, uh, the NFL team in the state that you're from where you played college ball, how, how much of an attraction was that? Uh, plus the ability to work with uh, some of these special. Yeah, th it was a huge attraction for me. I mean, um, you know, getting to play high school ball in Memphis and, and college ball in, in Knoxville, it just seemed fitting for me <laughs> to come to come here, so uh, I'm I'm really excited. I've um, my phone has been blowing up ever since the news hit, and so um, in fact I need to silence it right now. But um, I'm just I've been invested in the Titans for for many years now. I mean I I remember when um, they came to town and and they were playing in the Liberty Bowl back in the day, and uh, and I, I came to games when I was in high school, uh, and so. Um, I love this organization. Um, this was an, an easy, easy yes for me. I mean, I, as soon as I learned that they were uh, interested, I mean, I was ecstatic um, just on that. And then, um, yeah, to, to, to hear the news, to get the news um, that we had finalized, it was, was uh, beyond. Jim Wyatt. And Morgan, with that said, it's going to be a little bit weird. I mean, you've, you've been with the Ravens and it's been a rival of the Titans for the years, and you just left here, I guess, a playoff game here in January that, that ended with some some feelings. What is it going to be a little bit weird putting on another uniform after being in Baltimore for 11 years and knowing the history between those two? Yeah, I mean, naturally, it, it, it's different. I mean, uh, but but I, I'm excited about being here in, in Tennessee. And, um, of course, I've still – you know, I spent 11 years up there. And so I know everybody up there, but um, I'm excited about this team and, um, you know, where we can go. Um, I, I think the sky's the limit. Um, and that's one of the reasons that, that attracted me so much is that, you know, this is such a great team already. And, and uh, just to get to be a part of it was, was really exciting. Yes, there's uh, the rivalry, but um, that, you know, I've been through rivalries before and, and it, it just makes the game more appealing. Buck. Sorry, Morgan. I, they just, uh, just got my question there, but I appreciate that. Oh, no, that's all right. <laughs> we'll go with John Glennon. Yeah, Morgan, sort of along the lines of your your connections as well. Um, you know, what, what's it like? You know, I mean, you were you were a walk on at, in college at UT. You know, if someone told you uh, back in the day that that you know. You'd be a, a 11 or 12 year pro and, and coming back to play NFL football in Tennessee. You know, could you ever have envisioned such a thing? I, the, is simply put, no, I would have never believed anybody that, that told me that. I mean, I, you know, it, it's just one of those it's kind of a, just a testament of just uh, going day by day. You know, I, I, I started snapping when I was 11 years old and playing CYA ball back in Cairoville, Tennessee. And um, I remember my first first practice they lined everybody up to snap and um I got my shot at it and I, I didn't do that great they went on the next guy my dad happened to be there and pulled me aside we worked on it a little bit and then just kind of through the years 
just got, you know, got better at it as, as time went along. And so um, I, I, I'm very a detail oriented person, especially when it comes to my job. And so, um, you know, just improving each day was my goal and my mindset. And uh, I never set a goal too, too high that wasn't uh, attainable in, in the near future. And so each, um, each milestone I hit, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to make the team. I'm, I'm looking to, to play this game. I, it, it, I never looked too far ahead. I always wanted to stay in the moment. And I, I believe just stacking those days um, uh, has, has given me this career. So again, uh, absolutely not. And, and I'm sure, I'm sure there's plenty of people that I played with and uh, at ECS and, and, and maybe even at, at Tennessee that might, might not think, um, that I'm in this position today, but, you know, I'm, I, uh, am, am really proud, um, of the career that, that I've had so far. And, and I, I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Thank you. Couple more for you, Luke. And Morgan, I was wondering if you've uh, connected with Coach Ackerman yet and, and talked about sort of the way, generally speaking, this team uh, has beliefs and a philosophy about special teams. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, Coach Ackerman and I uh, connected this morning as I was uh, driving over from, from Memphis. And uh, yeah, we just talked uh, generally about, um, you know, what to expect. Um, you know, I, like I said, I've, I've been in a different club for several years and um, we kind of ran through a few things on, on how things would work and stuff. But I, I, I'm so excited to join uh, such a well-respected uh, coach and just a unit. Um, and I'm uh, excited to get to work, just in short. <laughs> Jim Wyatt. Hey, Morgan, you touched on Brett a little bit earlier, but can you maybe describe what your relationship is like with him, getting to know him over the years at the Pro Bowls, and, and what was your conversation like with him when, when you found out that you were going to kind of be reunited as teammates? Um, Brett and I have, uh, you know, we've kind of crossed paths for years because we've got about the same number of years in the league and stuff. Might have a couple more than me, but, um, you know, we, we so we've, like I said, been kind of acquaintances for years. And then uh, when we uh, got together for the Pro Bowl and stuff, we really, we, we, we connected and, and uh, got to got, got to be even better friends. And man, he was, he's been great through this process. Um, one of the guys that I, that I touched, touched base with right, right after Baltimore informed me that, that, um, that I wasn't going to be coming back. And um, man, he, he, he's, he's been, he's been awesome. And like I said, uh, early on, he, he was one of the first people that I called and we actually FaceTimed and, um, you know, of course I was smiling and, and, uh, we, we, we celebrated a little bit and then, um, and then I started calling some, some, uh, some other friends and family. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we've got a, we've got a great relationship and, and I'm, um, excited to, to get to work. <laughs> Last one for you, Paul. Hi, uh, you mentioned working with, working with Brett, uh, there's only two of you. How how necessary uh, to to see who the kicker is uh, and and to establish that relationship. And obviously that that might be a, a while longer. So uh, you have to be patient there. Yeah, absolutely. I think um, from our perspective, uh, we if we can get tuned up, um, so to speak, with if I can get tuned up with Brett, um, then then it makes it makes the kicker's job that much easier. My goal. Um, each time I go out there for a field goal is to uh, throw the ball where, where Brett catches it with the laces in his hand so that he just sets it down and the kicker and the kicker kicks it. So um, once we start working together, we'll, we'll start fine tuning some of those things. And uh, then, you know, whatever happens in, in the kicker situation, um, <laughs> I'm brand new here. So I don't, <laughs> that's well above my pay grade. So my focus is to throw those throw the ball where uh, Brett puts it down super easy and, and in good timing so that uh, the kicker can to kick his best ball. Basically. In your experience, does the kicker ask for for an adjustment in that in that timing thing? I mean, will will he alter it somewhat? Um, to some degree, but not not big changes, uh, especially when when we come in and, and um, if I get to where. I expect to be with Brett and already, already kind of know that we, we did, we did, um, we did that in, in really just a matter of a few days for the pro bowl. Um, then, um, I really don't have any, um, any 
worries about where where we're going to be once once uh, a kicker comes in. I mean, we can make small adjustments um, as as he needs um, because we want him to be at, at his best, and that's the way I've always looked at it um, for for the nine years without, that I was with Justin Tucker. I mean, my goal was to elevate him to to his best game, um, and um, you know, I feel like we did that. And so for me, it was about being flexible with. Uh, you know, I, I knew what it took for me to do my job the best of my ability, but then I was uh, flexible within within his parameters of what he needed in terms of timing. And so um, I got plenty ex of experience with that. And so I'm excited to work with uh, with everybody. Appreciate it. Guys. Appreciate the time, Morgan. Welcome to the Thanks, team. Thanks, guys. Look forward to seeing y'all in person someday. Morgan. Hope so. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Morgan. All right. Appreciate it, man. All right, guys.